With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So our question is, find the resultant of the three vectors shown in the figure. Okay. So we have been shown in the figure three vectors having first one is of 5 meter length, second one is of 3 meter length and third one is having 2 meter length. We have to find the resultant of the all three. Okay. So to find the resultant vector let us find the component of the resultant vector in x and y direction okay so first of all for the first vector of 5 meters find the x component so for x component component okay so first of all find the x component of 5 meter vectors so for 5 meter vectors the x component will be 5 cos 37 degree correct now as this 5 meter vector is making 37 degree angle with the horizontal correct so from here what we get is 4 correct now 4 meters correct now for the 3 meters 3 meter vector the x component is what directly 3 we can say so it will be 3 meters correct now for the 2 meter vector the x component is 0 as it is vertical vertically upward or we can say it is making an angle of 90 degree with the horizontal so we can say 2 cos 90 degree and cos 90 is meters correct now the resultant x component will be what of the resultant vector so the x component x component of resultant vector resultant vector will be given as let us suppose it as xr will be 4 meters plus 3 meters plus 0 meters and it will be 7 meters correct similarly let us find the y component for y component correct now for the y component, let us suppose for the 5 meter uh, vector, what will be the y component is 5 sin 37 degree. Correct. From here, it will come as 3 meters. And similarly, find the for th 3 meters. Now, 3 meter is a horizontal vector. So, it will, uh, the vertical or the y component will be 0. Correct. Now, for the third one, that is the 2 meters. For 2 meter vector, the vertical component or the y component is 2 meter as it is making an angle of 90, uh, 0 degree with the vertical. Correct. So, it will be 2 meters. Correct. Now, the resultant y vector will be what? 3 meters plus 0 meters plus 2 meters. Correct. From here, what we get is 5 meters correct so the magnitude of the resultant vector what we can say is magnitude of the resultant vector will be equals to the x component square plus the y component square correct from here what we get is 5 square plus 7 square or what we can say is 25 plus 49 correct from here we get the magnitude of the resultant vector as 8.6 meters Correct. This is the magnitude of the resultant vector. Now, talking about the angle it is making with the horizontal. So, what we can say is tan theta, tan theta, where theta is the angle made by the resultant vector with the x um, with the horizontal. Correct. Tan theta will come as the y component divided by the x component. Correct. So, y component we have calculated as five, and x component we have calculated as seven. From here, when we calculate the theta or the angle made by the resultant vector will come as 35.5 degree. Okay. So, this is our answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.